Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips about weight loss and not only that but I'm going to be showing you some of the foods that I eat. I also will be having a video that is showing some of the things that I do in my workout routine. That will be coming up soon so please don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is just the Skinny Mint Slim and Trim Shake. It is cupcake flavored. And it is a meal replacement shake. Um, it is 220 calories and it has 0.5 grams of sugar. This is a really good shake, especially if you like milkier things. It is really great. I, I'm so sorry, by the way, please don't look at my bed. If you like milkier things, it's definitely a great option. I am not a big fan of like milky stuff. So like protein shakes for me, like they're not my favorite. I mean, are they really anyone's favorite? But um. They are, it, this really does like fill me up a ton. I usually, I don't use it a ton anymore, but when I was on my really hardcore strict weight loss diet, I would usually have a light breakfast and then I'd have this as my lunch and then I'd have a dinner. But yeah, I really love this. I will link this in the description. It really does taste like a cupcake. So the next thing I recently got pre-workout. This is the Total War pre-workout sour gummy bear flavor. I have never used pre-workout. Um, I mean, I lost 30 pounds and I didn't need pre-workout, but um, I definitely think it's a really good thing, especially if you're really into like weightlifting and things like that. I have been using this lately and it has really been giving me a lot of energy. I definitely think it's helpful and it definitely gets me kind of like in the like workout mode, if that makes any sense, I don't know. But um, yeah, I do really like this. It is, I, the flavor isn't the best, but it works really well. But I would definitely say that there are probably flavors that you could get that are better. This was 45 bucks. And then another thing that I had on my weight loss journey is these, these are keto, but they are super good. They have 10, they have these packets and you put it in eight ounces of hot water and it's basically like a broth, like a soup. And it has 10 grams of protein and only 5 grams of fat. And it is 90 calories per packet. And it is, like, super filling. Like, every time after I have one, I'm like, wow, I'm really full. Honestly, would really recommend these. I know Kylie Jenner has bone broth all the time. And that is what that is called. It's bone broth, but it's just a different flavor. Next thing we have is the Kodiak Cakes. One waffle. I am so full. Like, I can never even finish my waffle. Like, that's how full I am. So... It, I mean, it has 14 grams of protein per serving. And, um, well, I do the waffles, and so it doesn't really give you, like, the, um, the serving size for that. But it is, um, the serving size is about a half cup, and there are 190 calories, and it's 3 grams total sugars, which obviously is great for that type of serving size. Total fat is 2 grams. And so I would really recommend this. You, I think I get these at Costco, maybe, I want to say, but I, I genuinely really like that. This is the Wildflower Maple Syrup. Syrup. Ugh, not syrup. And it is vanilla bean infused, and it even has a vanilla bean leaf in it. I'd show you guys, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, this is significantly better than, um, like, healthier than regular maple syrup. This is 110 calories per two tablespoons. And it is 24 grams of sugar. And typically, I, I, I'm not 100%, so don't quote me on this, but I think that regular maple syrup per two tablespoons is typically like 50 grams of sugar. And so this is like significantly better than other syrups. How many times did I just say significantly? The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the PB Fit. I call it PB2. I don't know where I got that from. Maybe we had one that was PB2. I don't know. But the PB Fit, and it is a powder. It's really good for smoothies. I usually don't put peanut butter in my smoothies, surprisingly. But um, but if I did, this is what I would use. And it's pretty good. I have it here and there when I'm like, okay, well, I'm looking for like a healthier snack. But it is 70 calories per two tablespoons, and it is three grams in sugar. And the total fat is two grams, and it is... um. 8 grams of protein. The next thing I have is Tazo tea. And I know that's super random and it's not a food, but I would have green tea and all the green tea I get was not very good, but I drink it. And this Tazo green tea is so good in my opinion. It's invigorated with green tea, bright lemongrass, and crisp pyramid, and it's called Zen. And it has, um, 
the caffeine level is a three out of five and it is super delicious and even if you put some lemon in it it is so it's so good so i would 100 percent recommend this and I never used to be a tea drinker, but I have learned to drink tea and now I love it. it calms me down. It, it makes me warmer. Like I, I love it. So I would really recommend start drinking tea. It might be rough the first couple of days, especially if you're used to drinking sodas or things like that. But I genuinely think that a tea is um, a really good change in pace if you're trying to replace some. Um, the with. next thing I'm going to be talking about is kombucha. I've never had kombucha and when I first had it, I thought it was so disgusting. Like I, I couldn't get it down, honestly. But um, I started drinking kombucha. The first one I had, I, I believe it's called Canvas. And it's Canvas Kombucha. And it was like a pineapple mango one. And it was pretty good. I was like, oh, dang, that's pretty good. And then I saw that it was like 16 grams of sugar. I did my research, saw that apparently it ferments over time. And so the different yeast and things in the drink actually eat at the sugar. So they have to add more sugar. That way, by the time you get it, all the sugar isn't gone. And so I figured that out. And then I started... It was, it was good, but it wasn't my favorite. And then I started looking at different kombuchas with less sugars. And I saw the Dr. Brew kombucha. I think that's what it's called. The Brew Doctor. And it is so good. Like, it's definitely an acquired taste, like, for sure. But I do feel like my um, metabolism and my body has been running smoother since I had the kombucha. So this is the Brew Doctor kombucha. This is the Super Berry. It has raspberry, blueberry, goji berry, and oolong tea, and it's a pro, it's a raw and probiotic, and um, it's 60 calories per bottle, which is 14 fluid ounces, zero grams of fat, zero grams of sodium, 16 grams of total carbo carbohydrates, and then 13 grams of sugar. But I will tell you um, some of the things that I think are really important with eating, looking at your sugars. A lot of people have told me no you just have to have a caloric deficit i completely agree that you do have to have a caloric deficit you could be losing weight but having sugars don't process especially artificial sugars they do not process well within your body and it's going to be a lot harder for your metabolism to be speedy when you're having all these artificial sugars and just sugars in general really that's why on all these different diets, they don't allow you to have a bunch of fruit. They allow you to have a bunch of vegetables, but not a bunch of fruit. Because in the end, all those sugars, natural or not, it's hard for your body to break down. Drinking water is also super helpful. I find that difficult at the beginning stages of my weight loss. I drink tons of water every day. And every day I do this thing where if I drink, um, I think it was 62 ounces of water that I was supposed to have, I'd give myself something. So I'd have half a cookie. Uh, when I say half a cookie, I mean like a very sugary cookie. Or I'd have like, um, like an extra this, an extra that, like treating myself, you know, and training myself like, hey, you need water, you know, like, and when you have water, you'll get something out of it. And when I wouldn't reach my goal, I wouldn't have like anything that was like, a cheat you know nor would I really have a cheat but I just have an extra something and it really was just a mind game with myself telling me it's okay to have that because you did that you know and um I think working out like I preached before I you have to get the app workout women I will link that down in the description it is so awesome I have so many workouts on there that really help me out and the they only have very few workouts on there that you have to pay for almost every other one you don't have to pay for and it tells you the calories you're burning, how much time it's going to take. It walks you through the process. It shows you what to do. It's like a video. And it'll say like starting in three, two, one. And then you get a 10 second break between each workout. Some some of them do 15 second breaks. It just depends which one you choose. They have yoga, yoga for your face, um, stretching, warm ups, cardio, legs, thighs, glutes, like anything you could think of they have on there. They even have an own personal timer. If you just need a timer for yourself, they have that for you. I genuinely think it is such a helpful app, especially for weight loss. I use it all the time. Even when I'm like, eh, like I don't really want to work out. I'll just do a quick little four minute nighttime routine workout. And it is awesome. So I definitely recommend that. I would love to show you guys some of my workouts, but um, I haven't had time for that yet. I will do that very soon. But some things that I do more than anything that I find are really helpful, um, Russian twists, really feel like, I think it's in my head, but I do feel like it slims your waist. I feel like somehow, some way, that is what it is doing. I do a lot of crunches. I do a lot of planks, a lot of things like that. Those are all very important things. 
but above that too, cardio is very helpful, but cardio can only get you so far. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again every day, your body is going to stop taking effect from it and it's going to have a weight loss plateau. You have to do different workouts and not only that, but things to keep you engaged. A lot of times I will switch it up. I'll do treadmill one day. I'll do elliptical. Working out is a hard process, you know? Um, you have to think of different things. You have to take things into your own hands, but it is worth it. And I've read stories about people, like I said, I do a lot of research, that lost 50 pounds of weight just by changing their diet. I'm telling you, it it is difficult at first, but it was not as difficult for me as I thought. When you're getting excited about making different foods and making different things, it starts to become more exciting than like demotivating, you know? Now at Chick-fil-A, I am like able to switch up my diet a little bit more because I have become more lenient with my diet and living more of a balanced life instead of a super strict diet. But like, um, I'm gonna give you some examples. So from Chick-fil-A, there are chicken nuggets that are just grilled. They do not have any skin on them or any unhealthy carbs on them. It's just a grilled chicken nugget and um, not deep fried. Another thing that I get at Chick-fil-A 24 seven, it is my favorite. It's the market salad with the, I think it's called the apple cider vinaigrette or something like that. And um, a substitute for ranch that I was gonna tell you guys about that I have a lot is sour cream and ranch seasoning. They have um, just like a big bottle of like ranch seasoning and you put it in there and you mix it up. And in my opinion, and a lot of people that I know's opinion, it is 10 times better than the ranch dressing that you get out of a bottle. There are a lot of different things that I could tell you about how, what to switch off and what to eat, but um, I will include that in another video because there is so much about it. I don't want this to be a 30 minute long video, but I wanna let you know that there is hope for you. You can lose weight or you can gain weight. And even if you're not looking for either of those things, you can still be healthy. We we all don't need to be having cookies every night. Sometimes we do. But um, I really hope this video helped. And hopefully you guys will subscribe soon so you can see my workout routines. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.